13.8 billion years ago, the universe was born, not with silence but with a blinding flash of light and unimaginable heat. Space itself started to stretch and cool. The first patterns, whispers of structure amidst the cosmic fire came out of chaos. As the universe cooled, light finally broke free. Is the first light ever to travel across space? And we can still see it. Today. We are surrounded by that ancient light. The faint afterglow of creation. The universe keeps its memories in radiation. It cannot be seen with our eyes. It's microwave light. Invisible, cold, and ancient. But with the right instruments, we can hear it. We hear the same faint hum in every direction we look. The echo of the Big Bang itself. NASA's WMAP and ESA's Planck satellites mapped this ancient light. It reveals minute variations like fingerprints from the first matter in the cosmos. Those tiny fluctuations came to define everything. Galaxies, stars, even us. From cosmic noise came the architecture of the universe. If we could slow down that radiation and convert it into sound, instead we'd hear a low, deep hum. The first music of the cosmos. The Big Bang wasn't an explosion in space. It was the expansion of space. A symphony of energy becoming everything. For 380,000 years after the Big Bang, light was not able to make its way out of the very dense plasma. When it finally did, it left behind a message frozen in time. Scientists read that message like archaeologists of light, decoding the story of the birth of the universe. When we look at the cosmic microwave background, we're not just looking into space, we're looking back in time. Every photon in that ancient glow has traveled for nearly 14 billion years, just to reach us. We are made from the echoes of that first light. The universe still hums and we are its song.